get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We I am live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I walked by Pipcorn. I knew I recognized it, and I couldn't uh, help myself with the truffle mini popcorn. And I recognized it because you guys were on Shark Tank. Yes. How long ago were you on Shark Tank? We were on Shark Tank four years ago. All right. Yeah. And so it was. Um, it's a family business. So it's. I run it with my brother and his wife. Um, and so four years ago, we went on and got a deal with Barbara. How is that going? amazing yeah. yeah it's crazy you know it's like shark tank they always you watch so many people's lives get changed by being on it and you're like oh what is it actually like does that happen and it really does like 13 million people watch it every friday wow. and so you know we have all that exposure all the time and then you have the help of a shark it's it's really amazing what's some uh advice that barbara's given you um i think the best advice she has is be who you are like especially just a lot of this business is you're really passionate about what you do and you're selling it and she's like just be who you are and sell it and also just owning what you're good at and not feeling I think as an entrepreneur you want to you are so used to wearing many hats that it hits a point where you're you're wearing hats that you're not really supposed to be wearing because you're not necessarily good at them and she's like it's okay to not be good at that and find the person who is so that you can grow it where you're actually where you excel so Jim what's your superpower what do you what have you found you're good at through this journey oh, yeah man. That's a hard question. What do you like um, doing in the what business? Do I, like doing? Yeah. I, I like, um, I really like being creative. Um, I, we all, the whole team's really creative. Um, I like spearhead a lot of the marketing stuff, and I yeah. think that's really fun. I think being able to, you know, we're selling snack foods, so we're selling popcorn and thinking of fun ways to connect with customers. Um, so I'd say that, and beyond that, I really love, I have a passion um, for food and using food as like medicine and, you know, being able to provide people with not that popcorn's medicine, but food that makes you feel good and, you know, makes you happy. Is, so those are the, my two favorite things. Well, speaking of creative, you have some new packaging. I want you to talk about favorite flavors. Some of people, what's the most popular flavors you have? And then show some of the packaging. Okay, great. Yeah, so we, favorite flavors, obviously truffle, like the yeah, one you graduated truffle, yeah. right to. Um, that's everyone's favorite. And then our, um, we are just launching a vegan caramel that is incredible. And it's Do those words go together, vegan caramel? I know. <laughs> well, that's the thing what we're so excited about. It's like a sort of, it's a little bit lighter coated, so it's a snack, like you can snack on it, or at least we do. Um, so I think those two are really popular right now. And then we're actually launching um, two new products all together. Nice. So we took our heirloom corn, um, that we use for popcorn, and we ground it into grits so that we could grits so that we could make it into other things. So we're doing launching cheese balls and corn scoops, um, and the cheese balls are awesome because most cheese balls on the market right now have like yellow five, yellow seven MSG, and ours are yeah. just what you would expect to be in a cheese ball. So it's organic buttermilk, organic cheese, color comes from paprika, our non-GMO corn yeah. and salt. Like that's it. So we're right. I'm super thrilled about that. And then our chips. Um, and yeah, then show the packaging. packaging. Let them zero in. So. The popcorn. Yeah. So it's we kind of really are playing on the fact that we're doing this heirloom. We have this heirloom corn, and so we want to modernize it. Want to make people realize the benefits of heirloom, not just for your health, but for the environment. Um, and so this is pip corn, and these are cheese balls, um, and then the lime. Um, sorry, and then the corn dippers. Yeah. So we're super excited just to. You know, we really believe that everything doesn't have to be high. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but high protein and all these things. It can just be a better for you. You know. Right. Yeah. So, so when did you discover heirloom? So we discovered heirloom. Um, I actually were in Chicago, and I was living in Chicago, working at a health food store. Mm. Um, and I met the farmer who grew the tiny kernel that um, is now known as popcorn. Um, and he kind of brought me onto it. I had a lot of digestive issues, um, and he was like, "This will be better for your stomach, and it won't hurt as much." And I tried it and fell in love with it. My brother and his wife tried it and fell in love with it. And, that's sort of how it happened, and as we've gone on this journey, um, we've just really like fell in love more and more with what heirloom means. So talk about working with family. I won't make you hold this up the whole time. Uh, talk about um, working with family. 
because it's an interesting uh, dynamic, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. You know, it's really fun. I think that I'm really lucky. I, we all get along so well, and we all have really similar um, personalities and really different strengths. So I think that works together in a really, really great way. Um, and I think it's fun. I think there's a lot of the, you know... Uh, if someone's working with family, what advice do you have from navigating, navigating? that... Just yelling say, it out and then hugging afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would say maybe uh, creating like a structure from the beginning because I think it's mm. so easy. You have your like family structure, right? And so you to not be in those molds of like younger sister or older sister or whatever it right. is. So I think from the beginning, being like this person does this and this person does that allows everyone to feel really empowered. Um, and I think that we naturally have that, but I think that there is. I'm always going to be a little sister, you know, and so I a lot of times would right. look up to, right, right. you know, Jeff or Teresa thinking, you know, that, oh, they, they know everything, you know, and, and they and not that they don't. It's more that um, they probably wanted me to take more more like control mm. in certain areas. So I think that, yeah, look at so that. Jim, where can people get it? You can get it at Whole Foods nationally um, and all of the new products will hit Whole Foods August 5th nationally um, and then on our website www.pipsnacks.com um, and in about like 2,000 stories across the country. So two last questions I always ask. Starting a company is not easy. Yeah. Um, what's been a challenge and then on the flip side what's been a proud moment? Yeah. So what's been a challenge? I think a challenge is um, not growing too fast. I think that there's so many opportunities and there's so many people who are like you should be here and doing everything and I think actually the strength comes to being like I'm just gonna grow where I can actually support it. And I think that's why it's seven years and we're still here is because we didn't just try to go everywhere and not have the money to support it or the resources. We really made sure to pace ourselves and that's a hard thing to learn and I think it's a hard challenge because you're like, am I missing out on sales? Is somebody gonna take my spot? Um, right. I think that was a hard lesson to like learn. FOMO. Yeah, <laughs> you, have, you have FOMO, like brands have FOMO and you know, you don't wanna miss your moment but what's worse than missing your moment is getting the moment and then not being able to execute. Right. So it's, it's really important to make sure to pay attention to that. Um, and what's the, what was Proud that? moment. Proud moment. Yeah. I think working with my, with my brother and Teresa um, and being seven years later here yeah. and launching three, like th two new products and new packaging. You know, we started with no money, hand stamping bags at farmer's markets. Mm. And I think right now feels like a really proud moment because this was our dream all along to launch totally. multiple snacks, and we're here. So I would say right now. All right. Check out Pipcorn. Pipcorn. Follow us on Instagram, Pip Snacks, um, our website, and really stay tuned for all the new products and all the new fun that we have coming up because we want you part Love of it, it. the journey. And try truffle. Thanks. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. Like a beach if you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand